I'm now going to show you CBC mode with cipher text stealing. Now if you haven't watched the first video of CBC mode without, I would very much encourage you to. So we're going to be using toad again, just like that video. We'll be using the same encrypt function. And as a reminder, our block size is going to be three bytes. So we get our uh, diagram here. We got our TOA is going to go into the plain text block because that's our three bytes. We're going to XOR it with VVV, which is the IV that I had chose in the last video. So here we have our block one in bits. And again, VVV to XOR it to get the following. We're now going to encrypt. And just like the last video, we're going to use the same key, key X, and we're following the same encryption function to get the following. This gives us Z semicolon period, just like the last one. Now what's interesting is that we're going to be taking that whole ciphertext and we're going to be XORing it with our next plain text block, but we are only going to actually take the first eight bits or one byte and that will be the very end of our block, or sorry, of our text. We take our second block, and we're gonna be padding it with zeros. So it's gonna be D00 in our second plain text block. Like I said before, we'll take that first full cipher block, and we'll be XORing it. Now, because we are XORing it with zeros at the end padding, we're actually getting the exact same last two bytes. So keep that in mind when we encrypt it, that that's how we're getting that information. And once we encrypt it, we're gonna use the same encrypt function as we did the last time. We get the following set of bytes, which is equal to F percent sign five, which will be the first part of our ciphertext block so our full ciphertext will be f percent 5z.